Imagine you're bouncing along in your 1920s Ford Model T and you suddenly realize you're almost out of gasoline. It's time to gas up. So you would stop off at the local gas station and fill up using a gas pump that looks like a gumball machine. The gas pump's proper name is the visible pump because you can see the gas in the glass holding tank. Gas pumps in the early 1920s were manual, so when they called these service stations, they were really providing a service. The attendant had to work hard to fuel your car. Here's how the visible pump works. First, the attendant would stick the nozzle at the end of the hose into your gas tank. Then he would start pumping the handle of the gas pump itself by hand. If you notice, there are graduated numeric lines on the holding tank which would tell the attendant how much gas is being drawn up into the tank. Once he reached the amount you need, for example two or three gallons, he stopped pumping. He then pulled the trigger on the nozzle allowing gravity to drain the glass tank into your car and pretty soon you'd be back on your way. From the mid to late 1920s, gas pump technology improved quickly. Electric-powered volumetric pumps soon replaced visible pumps. Volumetric pumps were more precise and much faster than their predecessors. The new pump's appearance was different as well. It featured a clock-faced dial that measured the fuel instead of a glass measuring tank. It was said that the volumetric pump was the instrument that everyone had always dreamed of. Surprisingly, the modern gas pumps of today though drastically different in appearance from early 20th century pumps, have the same basic principles as their 1920s cousins.